Greetings from Cuyahoga Falls. My name is Jehovah. Welcome to War of Rights. It's not Saturday, you say, but that's okay. We we're playing War of Rights on Sunday. We were invited by Hood's Division to enter the battlefield. So let's see what they have in order. First of all, let's get a look at the men. And what do we have here on the CSA side? Hood's Division in mass. You can see 1st Tennessee. We know those boys very well. 5th uh, Texas is here as well. There's Major Honor. Uh, right. Captain Eminem. All right. 18th Georgia as well. Hard fighting Georgians. We know those guys. They really hold the line. They'll be, uh, <clears throat> they'll be front and center in this uh, defense. Looks like the bloody lane where we are. Uh, let's see. 14th. That's uh, the JD boys right there. Jefferson Dave Cavalry. And the Palms, the sharpshooters. Uh, we saw John. There's Car Corporal John Halos. Probably that guy right there. Uh, we saw him earlier. Uh, who else we got? First North Carolina here in Hood's Division as well. And then on the Union side, 10th Alabama, the ANV, Army of Northern Virginia. So we got 10th Alabama in there that I can see. 65th Illinois. Yeah, we know these guys too. These guys have uh, all taken turns in the UEC and come over for Saturday events. So we know a lot of these names. Uh, 8th Ohio, that's where I'm at. 1st Cav, 1st Minnesota, 1st oh, Connecticut, 2nd Lieutenant Blaze. There's Sergeant Grumpy of the 1st Minnesota. 1st Minnesota, of course, famous uh, for their Gettysburg sacrifice. And uh, the New Yorkers, 23rd New York there. And the 1st Battalion as well. So, yeah. It's going to be a hell of a match. <clears throat> and some of the boys have probably already moved out. There's the Illinois. They're waiting. Let's get see if we can peek in here and have a listen. We'll go with them. Sergeant Barron. Sergeant Hardy. Spelled different, of course. Not the Hardy in the chat. <clears throat> Excuse me. How do you say that name? Karenzy? Captain Karenzy. And you can hear general fire has already ensued on the battlefield. They've already attacked the right-hand side. Let's not fuck around. Get into the action. It, Hoods not wasting any time. First Tennessee already pulling out here into the rocks, making an offense out of their defense. And we've got Union in the castle here. No, we don't. We've got the sharpshooters in the castle and the Cav. Look at this. The Confederates coming all the way up. They're not even going to let the Yankees get into this field. They're going to hold them at the fence line. And we'll see what the Union has in store here. The New Yorkers. Cowards. Major Jacob. You can see the New Yorkers doing their best. Kind of caught off guard here. They've got good cover in the corn with the fence, but they're going to need it. That's a lot of Confederate fire coming their way. We've also got some guarding the center here. That's 5th Texas. Captain Zinn. Oh. <laughs> Rip. Let's see if it, it works if I say their name. Lieutenant Bacon, we remember him as well. Make sure you're talking to Sorry, first line. He seems he perfectly fine. See? No yeah, curse. Yeah, just shoot Northeast. Yes, Alright, so the Union gonna have to pull out something tricky here. Trying to dislodge the Confederates, and here's what I expected. On the flank, historic in nature. This is what the Union did under Caldwell to sweep this position ultimately in the battle. Of course, in a different location. It was much further down, but the Yankees not wasting a lot of time either. Colonel Killer, 10th Alabama. They got him out there in strength. Oh, doing a little hit and run action. Coming out to the uh, open area. Taking a shot. Getting back into cover. Getting reloaded. We don't like playing as Union. Hey. Uh, uh, we end up playing Union every other day. Orbis. The only time I like playing Union is on River Crossing because I get to send you. Can you say your name? 
Exactly. What? Yeah. <laughs> How do you say your name? Arby's? I'm Arby's, yeah, what about it? Oh, do you like the, okay. like the fast food? Arby's is disgusting. Yeah. Oh, that's Arby's, 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 Arby's is good. Right, you're real no, somebody said this. Arby's is disgusting. Who said yeah, that? Yeah, who said that? <laughs> you see the guys having a lot of fun just hanging out. Colonel Killer. Let's see if he lives up to his name here. Gonna try to sweep around. And it's long range musket fire for the Alabama at this point in the battle. Black staying up, is it? Oh, it's down. Not a bad location, but hard to hit things from such a far distance on this map. With any accuracy. As you can see, the Confederates holding stubborn here. And the Cav and the Sharpshooters. With Lieutenant Lamb. Major Blondie. Snake. We remember Major Blondie. <laughs> we have a uh, Mr. Blonde now <clears throat> in the UEC. And I confused him for Major Blondie there. It's only one of me. There's a lot of you. It's hard to remember sometimes. <laughs> Well, the boys are having a good time. That is what it's all about. And you can see the Union here all the way on the edge now. I hope you get your own flag. I'm just gonna oh my god. The New Yorkers doing their best. But the Confederates really getting up close and personal early in the match. And the Alabama still hasn't moved. They're on this corner over here on this side. Aim towards the middle of the Got some other guys out here as well. First calf, first Minnesota. Here we go. Yep. Spread out, spread out. Colonel Hayes in command. Here's Lieutenant Blaze. Sergeant Grumpy. We know, we know all these boys. And the question becomes, do they become enough of a nuisance for they the Confederates to come down here and do something about it? They said, Arby sucks, and they ran up there. Guys, you got me. What? Well, they said, the rest of sucks, Ooh, still a brutal fire coming in. We do have Confederates sneaking this way. Now they're moving off. Now is 18th Georgia. Captain Sack. <laughs> Can I go like Shawn Michaels? I don't appreciate all that sprinting. I'm not your boy, toy. And this is a classic Confederate yeah, defensive position much, here uh, on this battlefield. Major, was that Chili? <laughs> Fifth Texas, Major Chili. Captain Eminem here, Captain Zane. Zen. I like So the Union not able to make much of a push as of yet. I think they were surprised that the Confederates came out so quickly. And you see it looks like Alabama's come back down to the corner. Maybe they're gonna make a push on this side. We've still got a lot of Confederates back at spawn. And they are moving this way. This is the winning move on this map. Come straight down this fence line right here. And Major Swiss, he's Mr. S uh, I think that's Swiss Cheese. And got a mixed bag here, boys. Mostly 10th Alabama. I'm wondering why they oh, let I'm us have the left harder. side. Uh -huh. uh, uh, said they don't. Oh, kill killer down. Why am I out of line? I can't. I'm in skirmishing, sorry. In formation. I can't. It's not me when I get near you guys. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I'm in formation. So the Union has to be careful here not to accidentally fire on their own men if they come down the hill, and that's what they're doing. We do have movement now in the center. 
the New Yorkers, but it's a hit and run. They're going to hit that spot and then fall back. And we had some New Yorkers on this side. But that has now been pushed out. The JD Cav and the Palm Sharpshooters coming all the way up. All right, all right, all right. Did you kill them all? Good job, Cav. Yeah, if you didn't kill them, they ran away. Good job, Cav. I mean, uh, Palm. Man, they're already dead. I'm going to have to start stabbing bodies to be entertained. Oh, Cav stabbed them. That was okay. What do we do now, sir? Dead Yanks. Got them sharps there. And you can see the uh, Confederates not getting a lot of resistance from the Union at this point in the match. Trying their best to make some movement down this fence line. This is, like I said before, I think this is the correct move if you can get enough guys doing it. And to hold that fence line against the Confederates. See, 10th Alabama has moved up, but haven't really uh, hey. pulled the trigger on the point of contention as of yet. I'm sure they want these boys right here to come with them. And that's exactly what Colonel Hayes is doing. Pulling the first Minnesota out of cover and back toward the front. <clears throat> and they'll come to the support of their comrades in the 10th Alabama. Looks like he's going to leapfrog them and go straight to the front. Well, we'll go with him. You see those colors? Take them. All right, well, they've stopped short of that. They have leapt over their, Boy, get behind the fence. their friends. So they are slowly creeping toward the point of contention. But you can see that red line still solid red. 31 minutes left to go in the match. And the Confederates have completely swept that side of the field. I'm not sure what they're still shooting at over here. Well, some more Yankees have come this way. They got a few out there. They've snuck back across, probably New Yorkers. And these boys are under attack here from their right flank. Do they know it? They don't seem to be looking that way at all. <clears throat> all of them looking up the hill. Hello, Zen. Hi, Cloud. What do you do, baby hey, boo? Hey, buddy. Hey. Lieutenant Colonel Cloud. Yeah, they're head pushing up here for us. I can only get a glimpse of the smoke every now and then. <laughs> you can hear the woos in the background. The guys having a great time. A lot of fire coming this way. They're seeing it now. You can see the bodies are dropping. That's why we say two per. And there he goes. Major Chili finally looking down the road, and he sees a lot of blue bellies coming this way. And they are not going to have the manpower to do much about it if they decide to come to the point of contention. I realized why the bullets are all coming this way. Because box seats next to me. Get him in transition, boys! Ease! 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 Let him up! Let him up! Let him up! Let's go! Let's go! All right, he's swinging the guys east, but only after the a lot of the Union comes sweeping down the hill. And that's going to be your New Yorkers. They've given up on that high ground. And they've come down right, to the bleep, fence. Right, Again, if the Union collects right here in this area, it's going to be hard for the Texas to dislodge them. I agree with them. Don't kneel. Stand like a man. Die like a hero. Cover me, boys. Uh-oh. Monkey's doing something. It's what they would call a Rambo in the UEC. But he might just be getting some intel. Trying to get up on that point of contention. Yeah, just being an eyeball. The Union not really making a strong push. It's still tied up. 28 minutes to go. Confederate bullets coming this way now, and it's going to be death to every man in blue if they don't get something going quick. You can see they're just dropping one by one. Turn away. And there they go. They've broken it up. 
New York is bailing out of this position. So again, Hood's division too strong for the Yankee attack. See how excited the guys get when the flag goes down? That's a mobile spawn point in this game, and if you lose it, uh, your men have to respawn way back at the original spawn point, which is far, far from the battle. And if you can keep your flags in formation, you can get more reinforcements quicker than your opponent. You can take the position. Because... Hey, life all right, so let's take a uh, immersion break here. This is like watching a new Civil War movie every week. So we'll just listen to the song of battle. Wait, don't I get a medal if I stay alive this whole match? I'm from the other side, so don't. Hey Bob, right here, buddy. Dude, this is Fifth Texas. Hey Bob, get well, over the fence right here. Flag bear, right? Bob, right here. Everyone around. Yeah, Bob, just tell me where to go. Just tuck it in right here. Tuck it in. Hey, hop over the fence right here and put your bayonet on and, and duck down a little bit. I'm sorry for killing him, man. Ah, oh, God damn it. He's still up. Ah, there he is. He's right here. There you go. Yeah, just... Hunker in right here, bud. So glad we moved position. I hated that. Go to the I can see shit. I just get suppressed like, for five minutes. They're coming in. Alright, they finally they decided to start to push. Let's see if they can do it. Uh, here they come. Southeast. Here they come. Coming in mass to the point of contention. 24 minutes left in the match. And the 10th Alabama leading the way. We got more Union coming along. This is a coordinated attack. Here we go. The New Yorkers sweeping down the hill. We'll go with them with the bayonet. You hear the huzzah as the charge is commencing. Then you suck. Through the smoke and the blood, Hood's men standing like a stone wall. First Tennessee. And the Union throwing the whole army into the Confederates. It's a bloodbath. 
at the bloody lane. And the attack is kind of stalled here. The Confederates, 18th Georgia coming in. Colonel Hayes still trying to do it with the pistol. And he's going to get killed. Get down. Good shit, guys. Back it up. We won. And the Confederates, they've done it. They've held off the fabulous charge of the North. They just couldn't get it done. And you can see the Blue Bellies are running back for protection now. But that's the right idea, boys. Keep that up. That's what you're going to have to do to dislodge. Hood's division, just too strong. On the double stack. Well, let's go with the uh, defeated group and hear the conversation. Let's see what they thought about that. Not a lot of talking in the Yankee camp. They know they just got hey, licked. Boys, I wouldn't stand right here okay. too much. Like, uh, they're already and within. Let's move back a little bit. Well, he is correct about that. Oh, Keep moving, guys. Right. I didn't see anybody die from that blast. That somehow didn't kill me. I was thinking exactly the same thing, Private. All right, well, what are they going to do now? They are on the attack, and they're going to have to do it similar to that. It felt like, you know, Hoods was strong there, but... They didn't seem impregnable. They almost got him. Either that or turn got him. Although there were a lot of 18th Georgia there at the end. <laughs> Guardbird over here, bud. So Cloud and Zen and the boys, they know exactly how to hold this position. They're doing a damn fine job of it. Near the position of the uh, 6th Alabama, I believe, in the actual battle. I was told to charge it. Gotta go, boys. I wonder what this game has. That's definitely the... Sm this is definitely the road that goes to... So, in the modern battlefield, this is kind of where you come into the bloody lane. This is one area to come in. Uh, but it's where the parking lot is, and you go up the roulette road to uh, roulette lane. But this is, you know, more trees and stuff like that these days. And this is much more hilly than what you see in the game. Like, this really just dives downhill right here. It kind of got some of that going on in that direction. But if you come back up this way, this is where Gordon's men were. And it's much higher uphill, actually, in real life. But there's the Muma Farm. If you keep going this way, you'll hit the Hagerstown Turnpike. Hagerstown Turnpike. Uh, and you can see the Dunker Church there in the distance. All right, so Hood's boys once again not taking the uh, fallback position. Right up here up front, Palm Sharpshooters. JD Cav, as always, up front. On this flank here, and they're trying to prevent the Yankees from coming this way. Got a little action. The Illinois up here. Right on the very edge of the map here. And the boys from Illinois trying to take cover in the field. They are kneeling, so they're going to lose more tickets if they are killed. All right, we got more movement toward the point of contention here. The New Yorkers are coming back for seconds. I like how they waited. Oh, look, another coordinated attack. Here we go again. This is how you're going to have to do it. 10th Alabama and the New Yorkers hitting the point at roughly the same time. And, boy, it's coming around blue quick. But they are surrounded. The, the Hoods guys have created a pocket, and it's a murder hole. And these Yankees just keep pouring right into it. And it is going to be death for the Union if they keep running into that nest. They're going to have to hit the side and roll up that line. Because, man, this is a great way to defend this position. They can literally just wait for him to hit him, catch him, and envelop him. Yeah. All right, but they did it. The Yankees have taken the point. 11:53 in the counterattack. So Hood struggling to get the Yankee attack to back off. But they've got what they wanted. Here comes Grumpy. 
No, this is Lou's second lieutenant run. And he's dead. Nice. Well, it's the Rebel Yell. Both sides now taking losses. Uh, but the Union in charge is a point of contention. 11 26 in the match. So now Hood's division is going to take a turn standing on their heels as the Yankees have swept them from the field. Impressive. So the murder glove didn't work. <laughs> Oh, man, I thought for sure the Union was going to be destroyed there, but a great job by the boys in blue. Oh, man, Ooh. brutal attack. Pull back, pull back, pull back. They have got the point of contention zeroed in, and they know it. It's time to leave the area. You've done your job. Oh, man, they are lighting it up from the Piper Farm. Might be old Longstreet himself shooting that gun. Awesome. There's Grumpy. Ah, I've actually reloaded. Hey, fuck. <laughs> fuck you, guys. Oh, not reloaded. Yeah. All right. Well, the guys have taken the position and then vacated it. So we'll see how long it takes the Confederates to get back here and reclaim the point of contention. I'm kind of surprised the Union hasn't tried to do something to hold it. Although that is a murderous artillery fire coming in from the Piper Farm. And all's quiet. Now oh, here we go. They've they have arrived. 18th Georgia, first to get Anything here. Anything for you, Anything for you, Stack. First Tennessee here as well. There's Major. Stack, are you okay? No, 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 no. First Sergeant, buddy. <laughs> I mean, on this line, Texas, right here, crouching down. Buddy, is there, is there a man standing up for me? Yeah, he's he standing up for me, too. What's up, boys? I'm over. Spur it up. I took a straight shot of him. Yeah, you got your team ghost, man. Oh! That's the wrong place. Hey, you're tuck it in, boys. So tuck it in. Mom tucked it in, if you know what I mean. You can see it's a great position for the Confederates. Zach, I, fuck I you, Eminem. Fuck you, Eminem! Fuck yeah. you, Eminem. Fuck you, coach! <laughs> I love you, coach. Woo! Jeffrey, quick, shoulder, shoulder. Woo! Shoulder, shoulder. Shoulder, shoulder, save the time. Mele, mo, and yo. Suicide right there. Yard, you down, see buddy. the flags. Are they coming again? Confederates in strength. Here they come. And it's the 10th. Alabama in the vanguard once again. They were able to wipe the Confederates last time. Can they do it now? That red bar is coming back fast. I don't know if they can do it. There's a lot of Confederates here. Confederate counterattack about to be broken. And there it goes. Both sides taking losses. The uh, regular clock has started again. 1851 left in the match. Union still coming, pouring into the area. Those are your New Yorkers. This attack was previously successful. Can they do it again? Looking pretty good so far. A lot of Union here, and the Confederates seem to be scampering away. And you can see Watch right. better flag laying in the dirt. Anybody got the balls to come out and get this thing? 18th Georgia standing on the fence. They've got a flag. They don't need it. There he is. First Lieutenant Turner. Right in front of the enemy. Great job, young man. <laughs> oh. I just fall back a bit in the corn. Hello, Watch boys. Out. I'm back. Well, the Union has done it. They're making that red line break away, and the Confederates are now breaking. Oh, this is it. This is huge. If the Union can now take this point of contention away, they can win the match. This is a critical point for the Confederates. And now the Union, they need to know their advantage, and they've got to flood this area with Union now. 
And you can see they're doing it. All right, the Confederates, this is it. They've got to do it now or they're going to lose. Can Hood's division get together at the point before it's too late? You see the 18th Georgia. They know they've got to do it now. Here they come. But it's too little too late. They're going to have to have a lot more men than this. The artillery starting to bark again. That's bad news for the Yankees. Oh, here they are. Confederates on the flank. The sharpshooters, 18th Georgia, everybody's here. They know it's now or never, and if the Union runs away now. And you can see the Confederates now taking back the point of contention right in the face of the Yankees. Can the Union regroup? Oh, the slow death right there. Both sides now breaking. Union still flooding into the point. Major Chili doing it with the pistol. Always brutal at the bloody lane. And both sides are still here. The line can't decide if it wants to go Union or Confederate. The Union slowly taking advantage of the area. They've got to do it. Confederates across the lane just pouring fire into them. Look at this man right here. Look at that man right there. Sergeant, I don't know how to say your name, but that was brave. Poisson? Is that how you say it? That's funny. Charge, boys, Look at the bloodbath here. The blue line coming around. The Confederates know they got to do it now. Here they come, the palm. But only onesie twosies. Not the whole group. Oh, here comes Sack. He's bringing the rest of them. Enough Confederates to keep that blue line bleeding away from the Yankees. They're too far down away. The point of contention is in the road, the dangerous part, and here they go. 18th Georgia, the New York is here, Cav, and the Palm, everybody's here. And they need them right now, because they're on a last stand. Can the Union produce enough men here to defeat the Confederates with 14 left? <laughs> All right, Minnesota boy Zachary, thanks for watching. It's coming down to the wire, and the Confederates are taking advantage of the Union. And they are pushing the tide back, and the blue wave is receding. You can see the flags running for cover. Don't stop now, boys. Come on, all the way. Go left. Go left. Move. All the way. All the way. All the way. And you can see Confederates have done it again. Came right down to the wire, and they are on a last stand, so it's not over yet. The Union have 14 minutes to regroup and hit this position hard again. Yes, I've heard the screeching child. General Butt Naked, look at that. Hell yeah. That's a great Woo! name. Do oh, not fear. Save the day. Well, Hood's division Three living up to their reputation one more time. Everybody, it's come everybody down to the wire a couple up. times, but they have been able to I'm repulse every Union attack. Listen up. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like that. Everyone, everyone the listen up. Pussy, Here we go, boys. The best shooter. This where we hold them. Hans, protect me. This is I got a big stick, boys. Keep your eye on the screen to the right side. Who's important here? I will take a bullet for you. And you can see they're crossing the road. They're trying a little bit different of a tactic here. They're gonna try to come down the other fence instead. This is always confusing in the corn, and I think it plays into the Confederates' advantage, but we'll see. These guys know this game way better than I do. There's your first Minnesota boy. I'm sorry, everybody. Sorry. God damn it, Ramsey. You just can't do anything, can you? I, I'm new here. Yeah, I can tell. 
can't kill his own brothers. Okay, try to fire, gentlemen. Dude, Perfect I just himself. killed like four of them. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. Yeah, sorry, I'm in it to win it no matter what team I'm on. I mean, come on. Try. And we'll listen to the songs of battle. All loaded Ajax. All right, here they go again. They're trying both fence lines, and they're leapfrogging it slow. I like the approach. 11 minutes left in the match. Can they make it happen now? We got another brave man grabbing a flag out of the enemy's grasp. Corporal Chimper. Very well done, sir. All right, Hood's making an aggressive move here against the Union. It's the Palms. Oh, they're playing music. I got to get away from that. Sorry, guys. Can't fuck with copyrights. Now yeah, the Union trying their best to get this back right here at the end. Ten minutes left. And they may be right on a last stand. I think they're going to run out of uh, reinforcements, and I think the Union's going to do it here. Wow, it's not every day that you see Hood's division get pushed around, but it looks like the Union has done it with some coordinated attacks. Can Hood's come back? They just don't have the men. Wow. The game mechanic of the last stand. You lose too many men, you lose too much morale. But here they come. We got another launch attack right here. No, that's so beautiful. Look out, there's a fucking man. Launch the car. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy it. But at the end of the day, it's a Rambo, and this thing is wrapped up with just over two minutes left in the match, and they've done it. A Union victory. Congratulations to all the boys on the Union side for a hard-fought W. All right, well, if you like that, hit that like button. Consider subscribing. Until next time, my name is Jehovah, and I will catch you later. Goodbye.